What's up guys, Daniel and Duke once again. And in this video, I'm gonna be carrying you through our month nine of our affiliate marketing case study. Now we've covered a lot of ground over the past few months. We had a lot of ups and we had a lot of downs, but I'm really excited about our progress. So in this video, I'm gonna break down what we've done over the past 30 days. I'm gonna show you our real numbers by jumping into Google Analytics, and I'm gonna show you how we're looking in third-party software tools at the same time. I'm going to let you know exactly how much we've made, how much spent to make this money, the kind of investments we're making and some things we have in store for the future. So if you're interested in affiliate marketing or online business in general, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video for the YouTube algorithm. Let's dive in. All right. So first and foremost, what do we do this month? Well, to be very, very honest with you, it's been more of the same. We wrote content, we built links, we rinsed and repeated, but our content strategy kind of shifted a bit. So instead of writing only affiliate articles, we kind of jumped into writing more content related to, you know, the business niche in general. Now we started this last month and I mentioned this in our last update. And so we've continued this overall trajectory. Don't get me wrong. It's not as if we've moved away from writing affiliate content completely. It's just that we focused on multiple types of content now. It's just that we're more focused on both educating our users for general goals that they may have, as well as earning a buck, right? So that's been a, a major part of our strategy now. And, you know, it takes time. It takes time to rank these new articles in Google is kind of relearning what our site is about. We rank really well for certain kind of review posts. Like as soon as we write them, they're basically to the top of the SERPs and it takes longer for us to rank for other types of content. Now that other type of content is what we're producing more of today. And we're being helped along by our overall domain authority. We have a DR of like 50 something right now. So we're being helped along by that, but it's still a slow and steady process. In addition to that, we've actually been playing around with building some software, really, really simple tools that have massive potential. Now, the kind of potential I'm talking about is 100,000, 200,000 millions of visitors every single month, and they can be translated into different languages. Now, that's a longer term play. Of course, there's some entrenched competition in those niches, but I'm really, really confident that we'll be able to, you know, gain traction there because it's just a matter of building the tool that works and then building links to those pages, right? And building links, is that's something and we do pretty well. So we're working on those right now. We have about three tools and they'll be going live any day now. And we've actually already created the pages so they can get indexed and start ranking in search engines. So from there, it's just a matter of building a couple of links and then getting them to the first page and getting all that sweet, sweet traffic. Now those pages are not actually monetized via affiliate links, but they'll be monetized via ads. So we need a specific amount of traffic before ad agencies or ad services will actually give us the time of day. And we haven't gotten to those traffic levels to apply to the networks that we're most interested in. We could apply to smaller networks, but I mean, at our current traffic levels, it's just not worth it for us. So that's what we've been focused on for the past 30 days. Now I'm going to jump on over to picture in picture and show you what's happening within our Google Analytics account. All right, this is our Google Analytics account, and I'm just showing you our total traffic. As usual, the majority of our traffic is from search engines. But as you can see here, direct users have actually jumped a bit this this time around. And I'm not sure why that is without digging deeper into the data. So we had about 2,400 organic search visitors and then a negligent amount of visitors from other channels, other avenues. So I want to compare that to previous period. So our overall users, our overall traffic actually went down by 3.58%. And I'm not 100% sure of why that happened, which pages reduced and which pages went up because it was actually a good month for specific articles. And we actually made more affiliate marketing revenue this month than we have made at any other time. And I'll give you the numbers on that in a minute. So it seems we've increased our direct traffic by 36.5%, but of course it wasn't that much to begin with. So it's really easy to increase those numbers. And then we increased our referral traffic by 22.08%. Now, this organic search traffic, it may actually be seasonal. This is the Christmas season. People are shopping for gifts and not so much the kind of things that we're recommending on our website. And that's just part of the game, right? So some niches have seasonality. The good thing with us is that we don't have too much seasonality, 
But during the summertime, people are kind of not really interested in business so much. That's probably what affected us in the latter half of this 30 day period. Whereas other niches like fashion or maybe like pets or anything related to something you can give a gift to someone else is probably seeing a spike around this time. Now, I've switched the view and compared it to our numbers from last month, the actual landing pages. Of course, I've blurred those out for competitive reasons. Now, we had about 2,000 something users, 2,500 users or so, 2,600 or so, but we had about 3,000, 3,100 sessions. There's one post that's responsible for a huge jump in our revenue, and that particular post or that particular article jumped by 145%, and we saw a direct correlation to our revenue. And then at the same time as that one jumped, another one lost a lot of traffic. And so that may be responsible for our numbers reducing this month. I'm not sure why it lost so much traffic over the course of the last month. That's something I need to drill deeper into. And this one is also responsible for some affiliate income and it increased by 6%. So what I'm seeing here, what I'm seeing is that some articles are increasing, some articles are reducing, and this is what happens every single month, the nature of the game. You can't always be going up and to the right. It's more like this, it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, but generally speaking, you're going up and to the right when all said is done or when you measure this period versus this period. So basically, we've had ups, downs, and we're almost at break even with last month. That's not really a good thing. That's not one of the targets that we're hitting. And hopefully in January, we'll see some of that seasonality and we'll see some improvements in our numbers. Now I'm gonna jump on over to Ahrefs and show you what third parties who are talking about our site or saying about our site. All right, so we're in Ahrefs now. And if you remember, if you looked at our last video, our domain rating was 53 before and it has dropped by two points to a 51. So that just goes to show you that these things are not static. You lose links, you gain links, and some other websites overtake you and we haven't been concentrating so much on link building now we actually switch gears because our domain rating has gotten to a point where we can actually pump out content and get it to rank without actually building links directly to that content of course it depends on the amount of competition in that particular keyword or those key phrases that you're targeting but generally speaking if you do your keyword research well you'll be able to pump out a lot of content that doesn't need direct links to rank once your domain rating or your domain authority has gotten large enough and we're kind of at that point so we haven't been focused on link building as much but we've still been doing it. it's not as if we've forgotten about it stop doing it completely so our organic search traffic let's look at over the past 30 days so it has gone from According to Ahrefs, 1,000 visitors a month to 1,400 visitors a month. And then at one point, it was it was about at 1,500. According to Ahrefs, of course, you already know that it's about 2,400. So Ahrefs, as we get more keywords, as we get more authority, it seems to be getting a bit more accurate. But again, it's about 100% off. And then our organic keywords are also growing. 2,100 at the beginning of the period, 2,200. And then at one point it was like 2,400. So all these things are always fluctuating. So how much do we make this month? Well, last month we almost cracked a thousand dollars, but that was because of a few coincidences, some a bit of serendipity. Some people reached out, they wanted to work with us and that kind of bumped up our revenue. So this month we didn't have, or the last 30 days, we didn't have that happen so much, only once. So we got a, like a hundred bucks from that. But from affiliate revenue, we actually crossed the $500 mark. So half of a thousand. So this month, the revenue overall is lower, but the revenue from affiliate marketing is up about 80%, which is a really positive sign and something that we're really happy with. Because in the end, we don't want revenue from one off like sponsored posts or link insertions or creating a review for a different website. That's something to consider as part of the strategy, but the majority of the income we want to make from this site, relatively passive income from affiliate marketing. That's only possible if we continue to grow our traffic and get that revenue through the door. So that's it for this update, guys. I hope you've taken something away from it. And we're in the ninth month. And if you remember, I predicted we'll be at a thousand dollars in affiliate income in the sixth month and we got hit by an algorithm update and things kind of went south and as i'm saying that i just remember what happened there was another algorithm update and it kind of shook our rankings a bit but it wasn't major and that's the reason for our three percent decline over the last month but we're already bouncing back from that 
That's by the way. So anyways, at month six, we got hit with an algorithm update and it really tanked some articles that we were really working on. And since then, we've been crawling our way back. It wasn't the end of the world, but it was disappointing. So month nine now, we still haven't crossed the $1,000 a month mark. But as you can see, we're making solid, solid progress. It's really an eventuality. And if we were willing to put like a couple thousand dollars a month into building links and all those things into the website, then we would probably have already been there. But I want a situation whereby a complete beginner, a complete novice can kind of follow along with what we're doing and how we're doing it and still see similar results or even better results because we actually chose a really competitive niche. So again, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe, like it for the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you in our month 10 affiliate marketing case study update.